Hey there, I'm Mr. Leggy, and welcome to The Centipede, which is a survival horror game where you must defend yourself from a giant centipede inside of a house, I'm pretty sure. And I hate bugs, especially centipedes, because frankly, they're long, they're creepy, and they have way too many legs for my liking. Oh. Oh, is that the centipede right there? Crawling out on the right side of my screen? Is that... Is that what I should be worried about? Oh, nice. I got an arrow. Oh my god! Oh, get away! Well, I think that was a great way to start, honestly. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what this thing is. Uh, I don't know if I'm just supposed to stay in this room. I'm not supposed to stay in this room. Green. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that either. How do I interact with things? Space. It says it right there. Day 10. The centipede's head must be riddled with arrows. Yeah, it's driving me insane. Day 2. There's a smell. A mix of blood and- Oh my god, there he is. Ba 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 I'm not here. Whoops, that was an accident. I went insane. Oh my god. Well, so far this game, very difficult. So I'm, oh hey, I can read something. I don't know how I ended up- Oh my god! I don't know how I ended up here. There's a really weird centipede right there. It's driving my sanity down. Oh, medicine's how I bring back up my sanity. Cool, that's good to know. How would I... My, why is my flashlight, like, completely off now? Oh, I gotta change the batteries, don't I? Okay. Well, that makes sense. So I gotta constantly consume medicine, and I've gotta be cha- Oh, well, that looks like something that would summon a creepy giant centipede. But I've gotta constantly change batteries, and I've gotta constantly consume medicine. Sounds like something I should be doing. I don't know what that is out there. Probably another space god. What is it with games and space gods? There's so many weird space gods in so many games. This isn't even a fast food game. This is... Oh, well, I hope this isn't a fast food game. That would be kind of gross. <laughs> well, this is a big empty, empty room with absolutely nothing. Ooh, battery. And an arrow. Uh, I guess- oh god, there he is. Okay, yeah, that does absolutely nothing. Or does it? So... How am I supposed to know where the centipede is, is my question. Is there like a... Telltale sign that his head is nearby, or...? Well, that's probably a telltale sign that his head is nearby. He's running away, I think? Day 5. There seems to be no exit, no escape from this nightmare. If only I had a gun to defend myself from the centipede. Oh, wait a minute, I do. If only the centipede wasn't long and freaky and I could actually bring up the courage to shoot it. Oh god, I thought that was the sound of the centipede. It was not the sound of the centipede. In case you were wondering, it was actually a door. That's what the sound was. Man, I have to- How weak are these batteries? I have to replace them like every five seconds. Oh god, what is that? Cannot shoot it, can tell you that. I can't even read that! <laughs> I found a weapon, a crossbow, lying in a damp... Uh, whatever. A gift from the gods, or perhaps a cruel jest meant for only stir false hope. I don't know. I'm feeling like this crossbow's doing some work against this giant centipede god. Oh my god, I thought that was the centipede. That's the centipede! <laughs> okay, hi buddy. Where's your head? There it is. Welp, I'm gonna consume more of this. Wouldn't want him to drive me insane now, would I? Honestly, I would have gone insane just from looking at this thing. Where is he? Where is he? He's gotta be here somewhere, right?
you know, I just realized that that's actually kind of cool. The lower sanity you have, the more fleshy the floors look. And that's a... It's moving? Can't shoot it. Still can't shoot it. Can I touch it? Yep. Nothing bad happens whenever I touch it. There seems to be a large amount of every single item I would want. So I feel like I'm pretty good. And even when I, like, bring back the flashlight battery on this thing, feels like it doesn't do much. This flashlight just feels really weak. Day 7. The beast bleeds. I shot it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, how I shake and weep with its blood splattered all over me. I guess that's a telltale sign that he's close by to me when my sanity takes a giant hit. It's also kind of creepy how he can just be... Oh, well, you look... Alive and good. With a thousand legs, it pierces my soul. And the more I scream, the deeper the darkness gets. There's no centipede near me, right? That was terrifying last time. Oh, at least I found another arrow. That's good. So I would assume I have to kill this thing. If I had to guess, you know. That does nothing. Oh, I can pick my arrows back up. That's really useful. Oh! Jesus Christ! Day three. Susie vanished. We hid in a small room to get some sleep. When I awoke, she was gone. The centipede probably took her. Probably like a... You know, a thing. He came into the bedroom and went, Hey, Susie. You wanna go somewhere cool? She was like, yeah, sure. And now she's dead. Very dead. This is the room I started in, isn't it? What? Okay, I, I think I've learned how to summon it. If you just stand in that circle for long enough, it comes after you. So, that should be really useful. Especially since I can't find it most of the time. Oh, the crossbow thing. Hey, here it goes. It's gonna summon him? Somewhere. Whoop! That's where it summoned him. Whoop! There he is. Got him. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot easier to get him now that I know that those things actually summon him. And that's great, because honestly, I didn't want to spend five days trying to find this thing. So am I in like a hospital or something? Because that's sort of what it looks like. Got him. Oh, I got him twice. And I think I killed him. The centipede was annihilated, and I woke up. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> well, that was the centipede. A pretty interesting game. The scariest part of it was, of course, the fact that he could be really close to you, and you wouldn't know until his eyes glowed red. Is glowed a word? Ah, whatever. <laughs> but I have another uncentipede related game to show you, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Hey, uh... You're the guy I have to pick up, right? It's getting pretty dark, so the earlier we get in, the better, alright? You can sit in the front with me if you want. Yeah, so this one's the driver. Apparently an interactive driving experience. I'm like... I'm half asleep over here. Oh, wow, I'm yeah, me... Fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, crazy, cr crazy traffic out tonight, am I right? Yeah, this is how I'd expect. The other day I was <laughs> fishing. It was a good day for fishing and all, but for some reason I had, like, no luck, you know? 
I was only catching some small fish, nothing else really. Coolest fish I saw all day was um, was a frog near the pond. <laughs> it was all green and spotty, so that was cool. Yeah, bro, that's crazy. Odd. But yeah, I caught no fish pretty much. And, um, top that's it all up. off. It rained at the end of the day. Isn't that just amazing? <laughs> um, yeah, it's 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 honestly crazy, actually. You know, some some days are just not good for fish. You know, you you gotta go out there and get all those fish, and you're like, oh wow, I'm gonna have such a great time yeah, fishing yeah. in them. I left some wrappers on the floor somewhere, so if you could oh. just pick those up before you before I drop you off, because I don't want garbage in my car. So if you could like pick up the wrappers and throw them out, that'd be great. That, that'd that's be definitely great. a condom right there. That. Is that what you're yes. talking about? There's like. I mean, there are there are some rappers over here, but there's like a very obvious condom right there in the floor. Is that? You're not a creepy so, uh, guy. Do you fish? No. No. no yeah. I see. It's giving me nothing to work with here, just so you know. <laughs> so, uh, uh, do you fish? Hey, uh, I don't know, that was so funny. if you're like addicted to smoking, then you can you can smoke in here if you want to. I don't mind. I really don't mind. So if you like want to light up a cigarette or weed, then you can you can smoke if you want. I'm so that's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, I don't I don't do the weed. I don't actually uh playing Angry Birds on my phone right now, as Ooh, you can see. Uh, where are my legs? Not allowed to be this close to a high school. Next thing he's gonna say, man, you're so mature for your <laughs> Hey, um if you're thirsty, there's um there's some water here. Yeah, there's one I, right I didn't there. put anything in it, don't worry. It's got the it's got the the plastic thing on it. So it's it's safe. It's just water. It's just water. I feel like the fact that you have to reiterate that makes me think that it's not just water, and it's uh something inside of it. Hey, do you watch uh, do you watch South Park? No. I saw this. I saw this. Um, I saw this episode where Cartman. He's like, yeah, 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 and then uh, it was pretty funny. It was pretty. It was pretty funny. Yeah, this is exactly how I'd expect my car rides to go. I'd, I'd like, order an Uber, and I'd go, like, I'd be like, hey, I want to go to this place, and then it'd just be silence with the driver trying to make conversation. Yeah, don't you just hate it when, gir when women, when women, sorry. Actually, never mind. I'm just not going to say that. Okay, yeah. I don't know what you were going to say, but if you, if you did think, what's on your elbow? You like scratch up your arm. I, I would probably talk back to a driver, you know. Like, um, Not talk back. We should go fishing together one day, just you and me. No, oh, we should. Yeah. I Not in a weird way, of course. Monday. Go to every time. It's not, it's not it's gonna be weird. Cool fish. <laughs> but um. But yeah, we should do that someday. Hey, you wouldn't kidnap me, right? You wouldn't like. You know. You think this car is actually going nowhere? <laughs> Well, okay. okay. <laughs> oh man. So, uh, I wonder if the guy likes fishing. Well, that was the driver. I don't know if that was a painful experience or a funny one. I mean, the guy seemed nice with slight uh, ulterior motives. I mean, maybe I was wrong. The, uh, the, you know. I guess the water thing makes sense, you know, some people might not want to drink it because it's like, oh no, my driver drugged this water, and he just reiterated, you know, he was like, hey, there's nothing in that water, trust me, nothing, absolutely nothing, don't open that water, I mean, open the water, because there's nothing in it, and you know, I think that was really nice of him to do, took my thoughts into consideration, and I'm probably still going to get drugged if I drink that water, but it's not drugged. But that'll be all for now. So see ya.